Diego, a una nueva aventura. Vamos a conquistar nuevas tierras. ¿Ok? Vamos a controlar el castillo. ¡Sí! ¿Ok? <ríe> ya vamos. Ay, también tú quieres ser parte de, de todo. Ah, no, pues. ¡Anestío! ¡Anestío! ¿Ok? Es Gaby. Es Gaby. muñecas. Es Gaby. Te sorprenderá. Man, I, I hear the music of my girls all day. Um, that is a kind of tradition. <laughs> Güey, es poético, güey. Es poético, no mames. O sea, vamos a pelear todos en la misma pinche cartelera. Se me hace algo así como... Mandado a ser, como el destino. Let's go. Positivo. Uh, primeira vez, mas já estive em Califórnia. Eu conheço bem o clima lá. Entendeu? Bem mais fácil, cara, bem mais fácil. É só subir e descer 15 minutos. <risos> Praticamente, né? Como falei, né? Chegamos aqui agora, indo para o hotel. Com certeza vai ter algumas a fazer isso lá. We have a party here, man. We are in Anaheim. This is a, this is a, a, a nice part of Mexico. You know? Mexican style. Isso! Los tucanes de Tijuana. Haciendo ruido, cabrones. Tenho surpresa para você quando você está assinando isso. Ah. Essa é música. Nova música aí que eu vou entrar. Ainda não terminei, mas eu vou... depois da luta eu termino. Uh -huh. É, das pedras. Das Aí pedras. falta terminar, pintar ainda e rabiscar. Encher tatuagem de pedras. Títulos, títulos. Esse He was so distracted on Hilo. We put the octagon there. Lorenzo at the time and Dana sent us the, the um, the, 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 the octagon mat. mat space, 30 by 30 by 30. And so he had the private training. He got two belts out of here and the rest is history. So we expanded it just a little bit and a little bit. So now people have trained out from Bisbing, got his world title out of here and a bunch of other fighters. And so I'm very happy because we get to watch you guys train and just see the, the you know, the power. We are in Anaheim, we just get here today and uh, we are here in the Rupa facility. We get the opportunity to use the place for training tonight instead of the hotel room. So just have some good training session. But it's kind of late now, it's about 10 p.m. and uh, it's been a long day. Yes, body work, 10 seconds, Shannon. Peace, 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 yes. Peace, peace. We just arrived, uh, get the trip out of us, get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, 
re-engage and go out on the attack. We've assembled one of the greatest teams ever and uh, Operation Flyweight Takeover has begun. São quatro meses aí, cara, focado na minha luta, sabe? Querendo mostrar que o cara que lutou a primeira vez com o Moreno e a segunda não é mais 100%, cara. E tenho certeza que agora eu tô 100% para essa luta. Acho que às vezes Deus permite a gente dar um, dois passos atrás para dar dez à frente. E isso aconteceu comigo, tenho certeza. Do you think Saturday night might be emotional for you to see your two students fighting properly or do you think you'll be able to separate yourself? Absolutely, 100% because I, I know the guy in the other side of the cage, we share things together and I have some thoughts that he was wrong or many in many things and if you know if on saturday i make him lose that fight i was right you can be successful living in paris you can be a, a champion living in, in europe <laughs> Damn, <man. laughs> the guy moved like lightweight huh? <laughs> <laughs> i'm light i'm light that's why that's why yeah you're not light man. Yeah. Big ass dude. Hi, brother. This fight has been discussed by everyone as your technique versus his power. But is there something that fans and media in this fight are not seeing that you think will play out in the cage on Saturday? This is not just only the power against uh, the technique. He have a fight IQ hat, so he is technical. Okay, on the other side. So that's why I say uh, this is uh, a lucky chance to have him there a few years ago because this is helped me for my career to feel and to know what is the power. Um, I'm more technical than him and uh, I have a power also, you see? So this is not exactly the power against the technique. So, but we will see, we will see. Yeah. <laughs> I am here with the flyweight champion of the world, Brandon Moreno. Brandon, the last one, you smoked him. You went out there, you beat him every step of the way. You outboxed him, you out-jiu-jitsued him, you out-wrestled him. What are you expecting from him this weekend? Uh, I'm expecting a better figure out of him. Yeah, give me 20 seconds to that. I'm expecting a, a guy more hungry than ever, trying to get the title back. Oh, well, that's good. He changed all his training camp. Uh, he needed to do that because if he do the same for this fight, we already know that they're a soul, man. What's up, cowboy? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Are you? Good. How are you? Francis and God. Michael Bisping. What's up, my brother? <laughs> Not much. You know, you got to be confident coming into this one, but how do you see the fight going down? Uh, I'm going to admit that this is going to be a tough fight uh, regarding this style. But you know, it's not like when I was preparing to a steep fight, I'm like, you better don't yeah. let him sprawl, touch sprawl, your leg. Sprawl, sprawl. You know, all those stuff. So going on to the next second fight, I know with Stipe, I know that he's tough. He he might need more than one punch to go to sleep. Yeah. But Syria doesn't have the same chin. Yeah, okay. You know, we're gonna get in the octagon that day and everything that people say is nobody else will be there, mm -hmm. just Syrian and I. That's the best part of this fight. When they lock that cage, everybody is out. Nobody talks anymore. Finito! Finito! Vamos! <laughs> <laughs> 